Hey, what's going on? Shane with the 5 to 9 Creator. Today I'm going to show you how to apply an animation to all of your captions on CapCut for PC. So I actually thought this was a pretty intuitive process because there's a little checkbox that says apply to all whenever you're doing an animation, but it actually doesn't work. So it's kind of a bummer. But anyway, there's a workaround and it's not as smooth, but it's still pretty easy to do. So we're going to go ahead and check it out. So I've already got my captions here. I've already stylized them how I want to stylize them, but I haven't put any animations on them yet. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your animations and you want to just highlight them all. So this is how you are going to allow the caption or I should say the animation to apply to all of your captions. So once I'm there, you'll see I'm up at the top right text. You see I'm on basic. I'm going to go all the way to animation on the right and I'm going to select captions for my animation. You can select in, out, you can have all the difference that you want. I'm just going to pick one from captions and I'm going to pick one that isn't pro. I'll just pick, pick this one. I've never used it before, but we'll try it out. And um, again, as you can see up here, it says apply to all, but it doesn't necessarily do that unless it's all highlighted. So if I go back now and play this over, it's applying it to all my captions. Now let's say that I reset this all. Let's just say that it says nothing. And I just selected, let's say, this caption, and I selected this animation, you'll see that apply all is selected, but it's not going to apply it to the other animations. Kind of frustrating, but at the same time, there's an easy fix. So just remember, highlight all of your captions before you do any animation change. Go to the animation you want to select, pick that animation, and if you have all of your captions selected already, it's going to apply that animation to all the captions. I know it's not a perfect world and it could be better, but this is what we have to work with until CapCut makes that update. So anyway, hope this video was helpful. If this solved your problem, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos on how to use CapCut, especially if you're a beginner, I have a whole list of tutorials showing how to use CapCut for PC. It's a little bit different than the phone if you're used to using the phone app. And if you have any questions about CapCut for PC and you want to learn more, put it in the comment section down below. As always, thanks a ton for watching. I will see you in a future video.